Hi, Ari Travson here, and welcome back to our Adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we got 10 Jungle Stalker Feathers for the Mokthariden's Enchantment Quest. And today, we are going to go back to Mokthariden and continue that quest chain. So let's head up there. ZG is out, and uh, our guild has done it two times, because it wiped twice this week. And I got uh, some best in slot threat generating legs for my warrior called the Blood Soak Leg Guards. And they drop off of a car, which is actually a kind of a tough boss. It's a decent boss. It would be pretty tough for like some new players in blues and greens, I think. And uh, it was a good raid. I liked it. I think ZG is a lot of fun. It wasn't much of a challenge until up to Hakkar. Because uh, we didn't wipe the whole time and then we wiped on Hakkar because a lot of us didn't know the mechanics of when he like does the, the blood drain and he like heals himself. So we eventually, uh, I don't think we had the damage to get through that. So we wiped. And then we we got uh, one of the adds to come up that had, when they die they have like a gassy cloud, green gassy cloud. It comes out, and everyone just in the raid steps on that before he does the the blood siphon, and then when he siphons the blood when you're when you're talk in the toxin, it uh, kills him instead of heals him. So it's kind of the trick we used to get through that boss. It was a lot of fun. I like CG. A lot of people are farming the rep to get their shoulder enchant and other enchants. Which are supposedly really good. I'm, I'm also doing that at the moment. But here we go. Going into the Grumgall base camp. These quests lately have been long quests. Taking a while to uh, to finish them. Also, while I was in... Uh, there's a new uh, buff that I got. Called Spirit of the Zandalar. So let's get through this. Talk to uh, Farseer Mukhtarid in here quick. What I need from you now will be very difficult to obtain. To hold all these feathers, claws, and pristine fang in place, I require a magical tether. Only an aged gorilla senior will work. You'll only be able to find one on an elder misvale gorilla. They are known to forage to the east of Booty Bay. The senior must be perfect. It might take a few <laughs> skills for you to find exactly what I need, but it will be well worth the hunt. Okay. Well, it looks like that's what we're doing today. We are going to uh, do some stuff. And try to get to see you. But yeah, back to the buff. I was. This is a new buff you get since uh, ZG came out. It's called Spirit of Zandalar. And it increases movement speed by 10% and all stats by 15% for 2 hours. And you get this just pretty much by hanging out in Booty Bay. I think they, they maybe they drop a car's head or something in Booty Bay or something like that. I don't know how you obtain the buff, but supposedly that's a, a new buff you can obtain now on your characters. Seems pretty easy to get, and it seems to drop, like, pretty frequently. Like, so... If you're interested in getting a buff while you're leveling, this one is really good. So the movement speed increase is great for leveling. And 15% uh, to all stats is, is, is nothing to uh, to not, you know, to get either. You know, you should probably want to get that as well. Okay, well, let's roll in here. Got to go to back to Booty Bay. It's kind of funny how we flew all the way to Grumgall just to go back to Booty Bay. I'm going to get my buffs up. Might as well. Supposedly this quest is going to be a long quest. We're going to be slaying aged gorillas for quite some time. But another thing that's probably going to happen today is we are going to hit level 42. Which should be good. Finally. I have a dwarf priest here named Mobs. I just stood there like that. I'm not gonna attack him. Not today. I'm not mess. I messed with too many priests in the last episode. Getting sick of fighting priests. 
There are long fights. Here's another warlock. Everyone says there's no alliance on this server. All I see is alliance out here. Here we go, riding back. ZG is right over here. If you guys, it's all Garub. 20 man raids right over here. And uh, the Horde camp it. It's camped by the Horde. So if you're Alliance, make sure you go in with your group. Because you're going to need to roll in. There's uh, a lot of people sitting out there with, uh, with um, you know, multi-box mages, priests, all that. Just waiting to blow up groups, take away your buffs, all that, all that good stuff. I lost my buffs in raid in a ZG last episode. Well, not... Well, last time we did be CG, I was uh, mind controlled and my guild decided to, to take me out. They all killed me and I lost my buffs. Raged a little bit too. I think someone made a clip about it in my raid, which is funny. Another cool update. Since because of the, the queue times being so high, due to uh, everyone being in quarantine and all that. They have decided to uh, bring back layering for for a time being, and uh, I believe it is currently on Ferlina, which is uh, which is interesting. Because uh, yeah, it might mess with the economy. Some people don't like it because it messes with the economy, but um, overall. I think it's a good thing, because um, a lot of people are going to stop playing the game because of it, not being able to get in, so. And a lot of guilds are supposedly struggling, because they, uh, a lot of their members can't make the raids on time, because they end up getting stuck in queue. And when you need to get 40 people to a raid, and then five guys are stuck in queue, you usually start like an hour, or two, an hour and a half late, and that really, uh, I don't know. Messes with your progression. And it becomes uh, hard to um, keep your raid going. So the layering will be good for guilds like my guild. We've had uh, trouble getting 40 guys on at our regular raid time. But um, now I believe we'll be able to do that with ease. Especially with uh, layering being around. Sucks for the economy though. It's gonna get flooded with stuff. I guess it's it's good if you're a buyer, because uh, the market will uh, bring the prices of things down by a lot. But as a seller, it's pretty bad. And there's an elder misfail gorilla I'm trying to hunt these guys down. The shadow mob panther gonna attack us. Looks like we found the elder misfail gorillas. These are the gorillas we have to slay for the quest. See how uh, see how many it takes us to uh, to get the senior here that we want. Age gorilla senior. It's a lot of XP. Five forty six. Okay, let's heal up here. Don't know how strong these guys are. Kind of want to be. Oh, well, we pulled them. Didn't even get to get our opener. Looks like we can kite them. They're slower than me. That's probably because of this buff as well. I have cat form with a 10% speed buff. It's, it's pretty... That's really OP for druids. Druids are already fast. And now, uh... Now with the 10% speed buff, it's really good. Okay, let's get our bleeds up here. Ooh. That guy got trucked. Didn't get the senior yet. It's only slayed uh, one gorilla. <laughs> Imagine we slayed one gorilla and got it. I think it's going to be... I'm guessing 40 gorillas. And if we see a lion's here, I guess we'll try to fight them. Another thing I'm worried about is since ZG's up, the 
There's gonna be a lot of 60s in uh, Stranglethorn Vale, so. A little worried about running into some alliance. Alright, let's move out. Well, not, not all lines, but just like level 60s, you know. So I stand no chance. I'm already having a tough time against guys my own level. <laughs> it's nice when you get into duels like that, though. With uh, players you're, like around your level range. Supposedly mages are farming CZ, like the CG mob solo. And uh, picking up all the bijoux and all the rep stuff and selling it. Interested to see how long that's going to last. Looks like this is where the Nagas are. Got an alliance here, level 44. These are the Naga Explorers. Okay. Where's the gorillas? I don't feel like messing with the mage right now. I just want to know where the gorillas are. Imagine there's only two. It's brutal. Maybe they're all around here. Oh, we got two panthers chasing us. The mobs here are super high level. Okay, I gotta stun this guy. Try to get away. Get away! Use your speed! There they are. There's another one. Okay. Stick with the gorillas. Yeah, it's a great time to come back to the game now, especially since the cues have been uh, taken away. Great time to play WoW again. Well, classic. Because now that there's there's no cues, there's layering, and uh, and ZG's out, so it, which is supposedly a catch-up mechanic, catch-up raid. Which will help you get gear to get into raids and stuff. It's actually probably a great time to play Classic WoW. There wasn't much gear for me to get in, uh, in ZG, but I got lucky and got my legs first, first day, so that was pretty nice. These gorillas give good XP, though. We're going to get level 42. Fairly quick. I think that's around four, four gorillas. I'm guessing around forty will be the number that I'll need to uh, get them all. Adrian Alessini, are you serious? We got lucky today, guys. Supposedly this was going to take like 40 gorillas. Okay. Well now, look at all these guys. How many did you want to ask this guy? Dolphin, bruh. Who's this guy? Listen. I've slain all of them. Oh, great. I'm happy I'm out of here. Wow. Oh, cool. All oh, these guys are collecting fangs. 
All right, well, that's cool to see. Well, we got super lucky with this quest, I think. Or maybe not. I don't know. But maybe it's layering, guys. Maybe the layering helped me. Who knows? Maybe layering is the reason why I got it so fast. That's another guess. All right, well, we're going back to... Uh... I know it's faster. I guess we'll just take a ride. Maybe we'll see some alliance... I thought this episode was going to be a long one. We should try to get level 42 at least. Right? Yeah, let's get level 42. And, um... Yeah, over here is where they are. If you're looking for them. They're in this area near Booty Bay. And, uh... I got them in th five kills, which is insane. Okay, well, let's get out of here. There's Samantha Swift Hoof. How are you? There's that mage you're talking to, Dolph, bruh. Everyone loves playing mages. When I was in front of ZG, there was uh, honestly like 50 mages outside of it. Like, <laughs> I swear everybody has a mage in, in this on this server. Okay, well, where's we should try to find some of these. Uh, we only need uh, like 2k, like 2.2k to get. There's some yeah, start slaying some of these tigresses. Remember these guys? How many I slain? Just to get what I needed off of them? That was a rough quest. But yeah, we'll slay some tigresses. I'm gonna try to get level 42. I said we would. We're real we're really close. So you might as well. There's another tigress. And if we see any alliance, we'll uh we'll do some PvP. I really thought that uh this was gonna take a long time, so I wanted to kind of avoid the PvP. Because I didn't want the episode to be, like, two hours long. Because even the quest says, it says it's going to take a while. You're going to have to slay a lot of them to get it. It's rare. So I felt, I feel like we got really lucky today, guys. A couple more tigresses to kill. Probably... Probably three more. Three to... Three to four. put that fairy fire up. Maybe it's this buff. Spirit of Zandalon. Gives me a lot of luck. I think it's layering, to be honest. Because layering... Uh, layering messes with the drop rates, I think. I don't know. That's a, that's, And that's just a guess. I honestly don't know what I'm talking about, but... With layering, but... It's just weird that it drops so quick. Oh my gosh. What's he doing? Well, 60 Hunter. Hardcore. Going to ZG. He was looking at me over there. He's going to shoot me up. Decide not to. What a nice guy. Let's put fairy fire on him. Large fan got a nice lockbox. Too bad we probably won't use it until we hit 60. Because we need to uh, make a deal with a rogue to open that. It's a Shadow Maw Panther. This could be level. Nah, probably two more. Another mob after this guy. We'll be done. Alright, one more, guys. I think it's one more. Need 300 XP. Let's try to find a, another one of these Shadow Maw Panthers. You can hear them out in the wild. If not, we'll just go for this Tigress. A little bit easier to find, you know? 
I feel like I'm even moving faster in stealth. That's that's nice. Cause if you move so slow in stealth in classic, I know it play notice. Oh yeah. There we go. Level 42. We're moving. That's big. Level 42. So let's check out our talents. Uh, we're done with the Feral Tree. I, I would get Leader of the Pack if I was in groups. Because it's a good group buff. Increases the melee crit chance of all party members by 3%. But I don't really do group play. So it's either I go into Fuhrer. Which gives you a 20% chance to gain 10 Rage. When you shape shift. So when you shape shift, I would get, uh, for cat form, I get. If I get this to rank 5, every time I shape shift to cat, I'll have 40 energy. Which is good. Or I go down and I try to increase my damage overall with natural weapons. Yeah, I'll take nature's grasp, I guess. I'm gonna go for natural weapons. And what do I need to start doing that? I can get it. If I get it all the way up, it'll increase the damage you deal with physical attacks by 10%. Which is pretty good. Look at all the alliance out here, guys. All I've seen is alliance. Well, we've seen two horde. One horde mage. And, uh... And a horde... And a, and a warrior. 40, 43 warrior that was farming. It's nice having the mount, though. There's another mage, 44. Feels like if I attack, I'm gonna get camped. Nah. I couldn't get him. Warlock on a mount. He had no... He didn't want anything to do with me. Everyone's just focused on questing. There's a horde. If I see anybody... Next guy I see, I'll try to attack. Even if he's level 60. Next guy I see. Oh, we're on the way to Grumgall. No, oh, no. It's another rogue. Is a rogue priest? Undead warrior named Klaus Das. It's cool to see people leveling. That's another problem too with uh, the layering. I don't like for like this for the let's play is because I'm gonna see less people. Maybe I don't know. Depending on the layer I'm on, most likely there's gonna be two layers. I'd assume. So, uh, that kind of sucks, but it doesn't seem to be affecting it right now. I've seen tons of people out here, so That's who knows. Up. Has fortune been on your side, Flight Carrier? Sure has. Were you able to obtain an aged gorilla senior? Yes. The most ideal scene, Flight Carrier. Your efforts will pay off soon. All right, there we go. The Got some XP. Looks like we need to still continue this quest chain. Might do that next episode. Didn't get into much uh, PvP action today. Maybe try to do a little bit more next episode. But that is the end of the episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.